Welcome back. So let's see now how we can use BCA for data visualization. So we will define a function called visualize that should take X and Y. So X is basically the data set and Y is the labels for this data set, right? And first we are going to call our implementation for the BCA. This should return U, S and V, right? after performing the mean and all this subtracting the mean and all this and then we get the eigenvalues as before the significance sort the significance in descending order get the recovered variance but here we want to visualize the first two dimensions okay so that's why as you can see here we are not really getting the significance and stopping at a specific threshold or have a specific k number of components no what we are doing here is that we are summing the significance from 0 to 2 to so the first two dimensions only okay and then the restore data will be basically u from 0 to 2 right the first two columns of u and then the first two columns also of s we multiply these together so this is the reduce data using the first two principal components and here we have the colors as you can see r p and y and we will see in just a second what do you mean exactly by this this is red blue and yellow right so each label will have its own color okay so as you can see here we have zeb colors red blue yellow and i will be zero one two so the first time we'll have red zero and then we will have one blue and then two yellow and then we will plot the scatter plot right on the reduced data set y equal equal i with zero right so each time we get a value of zero and then each time we get a value of one and a value of two so this is basically for the labels right and the marker is x we can change this if we want and the color is color the current color alpha is basically the transparency of the plot and so on okay so if we run this this should return also the recovered variance so if we perform this on two data sets the iris data set how many classes we have we have three classes and we have four dimensions right so we can plot the first two principal components using the visualize function and as you can see we retained more than 97 percent of the variance so using only two features instead of four we can retain more than 97 percent of the data and what is even more fascinating is that we can load the y data set this is another data set in sqlearn and this data set has three classes also but we have 13 dimensions so this is a much much more complex data set than the iris data set right and we are going also to visualize it using only two features and as you can see we retained more than 999 percent of the data set so using only two features we can get the same exact result with the 13 features right so this is really really fascinating okay so this is the distribution of the data right after reducing it or after projecting it into a lower dimension and the same for the line data set right and we can also visualize the digit data set this is another data set from sklearn so load and return the digits data set and this is a classification data set so each data point is an 8 by 8 image of a digit right so we have how many dimensions 64 dimensions this is the dimensionality of this data set we have 64 features and then one label corresponding to what is the digit of this features okay so we have 10 classes 0 1 2 3 4 and so on okay so we have 10 classes and each class corresponds to a digit from 0 to 9 so what we are going to do here is that we are going to load the digits and then we are going to call the pca from sqlr right we want to try our implementation sometimes and sometimes we want to try the sqlr implementation just to have a clear idea for all of them right so here we are using pca with two dimensions and then we fit transform just like before using digit dot data right and this will be the data projection right the data projection and here if you check the explained variance ratio the retained variance right just like before and plotted this so how we can plot this as you can see using plot dot scatter right digits dot data projection this one right 
it's now we are plotting 0 and 1 and what is the color the color is for the targets right so if you run this it will be more clear so as you can see this is our data this is the first principal component this is the second principal component just like before right but we made it clearer and as we can see here this heat map or this label is for the color bar this is called the color bar right and we have 10 text from 0 to 9 and as you can see this is 0 for example and this is 9 the height is corresponding to 9 right and the green is corresponding to 3 and we have here this crown is corresponding to 4 and so on right so this is the first principal component on the x-axis and on the y-axis we have the second principal component so we projected 64 features onto two features we retained only 28 percent around 28.5 percent of the variance so this is not that much but if you think about it we are using two features or two columns or two principal components or two dimensions instead of 64 so this is a huge trade-off right so we are using only two instead of 64 and at the same time you can see that we have a cluster of zero here we have a cluster of ones here we have a cluster of nines here so we can in fact differentiate between them or we can have decision boundaries between these classes it's not the best right it will not be the best results we can get but data distribution itself is still there right so this is very 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 important so in the next lesson we are going to discuss another very cool data set called the arrest data set and from this data set we are going to explain a very very important concept called the pie plot right this one and in the next lesson the lesson after that we are going to discuss the feature scaling effect and we are going also to discuss the scree plot so in the next lesson we will see the pie plot using the arrest data set which is a very very cool data set and i will leave it also in the resources so in the resources of the next lesson i mean uh, so let's go to the next lesson and see all this